Isa sa pinakamataas na bilang ng mga signatures ang nangyaring online petition laban kay Maria Ressa ng Rappler, umabot sa higit 150,000 signatures ang recorded na nakilahok, pero sa isang iglap bigla na lang na takedown. Palaisipan ngayon sa mga netizens kung ano ba talaga ang meron sa Rappler na ito, dagdag pa rito ang reklamo ng ilan sa mga Facebook user na nababan dahil sa fact checker ng Rappler na kapag nag-share ka ng laban sa mga Dilawan, at pabor sa mga Marcos ay sure na mawawala ang na-share mong video. Nanawagan ang ilan na ito ay sana maimbestigahan na dahil tila daw may itinatago talaga itong kabulastugan. Narito ang buong ulat, Change.org Scamang, Online Petition to Strip Maria Ressa of Nobel Peace Prize Taken Down. An online petition to strip Rappler founder Maria Ressa of the 2021 Nobel Peace Prize has mysteriously disappeared from the Change.org website despite garnering over 150,000 signatures. Communications under Secretary Lorraine Bedoy expressed dismay over the removal of the petition, comparing the Change.org website to a bigger cage where freedom is curtailed. Badoy said in a Facebook post that the online petition could have garnered as many as 1 million signatures had it not been taken down. So I guess the world's platform for change, like the Nobel Peace Prize and Facebook come to think of it is a bigger cage that gives you the illusion you are free. But you're not. You've just been placed in a bigger cage, she said Friday, October 29. And the moment you fly out of that cage, they clip your wings and send you right back into your prison. Of course we won't allow it. We know too much already. But I think, not enough, Badoy added. Ressa and Russian journalist Dmitry Andreevich Muratov were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for 2021 for their efforts to safeguard freedom of expression, which is a precondition for democracy and lasting peace. The Nobel Committee's choice of Reza for the award, however, has been criticized, with Arroyo-era Cabinet Secretary Rigoberto Tiglao saying that it was the U.S. way of interfering with the 2022 elections. Reza is a dual Filipino-American citizen. What we are seeing here is a hegemon powers move to interfere with our 2022 elections, and we should be furious at this. It is shameful for us as a nation, or just plain stupid, to cheer for somebody who's been putting down the Philippines to the world, given a boost by the U.S., so that a pro-U.S. president will be installed next year, Tiglao said in his October 13 column for the Manila Times. Ayon naman sa mga komento ng mga galit na galit na netizens dahil sa nangyari. Again, natulog lang kami may kababalaghan na naman. The Change.org petition near 130,000 signatures earlier has been removed. This woman, Maria Ressa, who claims oppression from this government, and that freedom of speech and of the press are being curtailed in the country, and got rewarded with what used to be a prestigious award for it, somehow made it possible to have this public-initiated petition, an outcry shared by a lot of Filipinos alike, to be taken down. And she claims Duterte is a dictator, funny. FYI, the first petition already reached more than 200,000 signatures but then it was taken down. To sign, just visit change.org website and click on the three vertical lines on the upper right-hand corner then search for, Maria Ressa. Hashtag recall. Kung ikaw ay mayroong opinion sa isyong ito, malaya kayong makakapagkomento dahil open ang comment section para sa inyong saloobin. Maraming salamat po. Hanggang sa muli, para sa mas marami pang showbiz update at politikal na isyu, mangyaring laging nakasubaybay sa channel na ito. God bless us all. Mabuhay!